cold. So uh, you know, there's a real kind of bug going around. It seems to be. Oh, uh, there is a bug going around. Yeah. yeah. So you yeah, keep your distance now because I'm I'm incredibly healthy specimen, so I wouldn't like to catch anything there. Um, we should say now that the, uh, Thursday, which is we're now here on, on Wednesday down the Greystones Credit Union. Thursday night is is down in St David's at seven thirty. Is the AGM? This all started about eleven months ago, I think. Malachy, Duddy, and 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 maybe I don't know whether it was your, the two of you got together. How this sort of idea came about. came about? Yeah. Yes, I mean, um, over the years, um, we had been central bank has this idea of, of, of merging all credit unions. So you, you you find that you know you have to you know look. So uh, also because of our size, we were looking to try and share services to reduce our costs. Um, external services. Right. Uh, so um, we came to it was suggested. Why don't you m maybe talk to Bray about shared services? So we started out uh, having a chat about shared services, and as we got into it, said, "Well, we're such close neighbours. It yeah. probably it makes sense for us to maybe discuss coming together." Right. So that's really how it came about, and it, it's gone on since then. Well, I know there's four offices, and we've got New Town, Kennedy, Kilcoole, Bray Stones, and, and Bray, and and. I'm guessing that the actual front of house service and the general what what the credit union does will not change at all. It's just about no, it won't. Yeah, it's just about admin, just behind the scenes, being able to you know slimline what would normally be four different offices doing the same thing. One will would be able to sort of look well, after. It'll be mainly the external services that yeah. that will go. Um, like we have, um, you know, joint um, investment advisors, that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, so we 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 will. It's not about the staff. The idea behind it all will be to grow. Right, right. It is imperative that we, as any small credit union, where we, in particular, we're, we're strong, we're, yeah. we're not weak, we're not being pushed into this. Right. So it's important for us to actually do it at our own pace with somebody we believe we can work with. Bray's common bond, I don't know whether you understand the common bond, but the common bond is, uh, for every credit union, is the area that where they market. Right. It's like a, um, I suppose it would be called restri you know restrictive practice in other okay. because we can't um, get members in Bray, and they can't pinch members in Greystones. <laughs> okay, right. so you have this, but because of our close proximity, there are a lot of members who have accounts in both because right. of the years yeah. over the years. Bray's common bond extended all extends still all the way down to Rack New. Well, all right, we're in the middle. Which was right. carved out of Bray. Um, so now what will happen is that our customers who go to our outline offices, which Newtown and Kennedy and Kilcool, that will still be there for them. It will also be there for all those members of Bray Credit Union who have to go into Bray to do their business. They will be able to come into Newtown and Kennedy and Kilcool also. Given our strength, we'd be now 160 million plus credit union, which is exceptionally, it's probably the top 10 in the country. Right, right. We will be able to do better marketing, more comprehensive marketing. That will increase the membership all the way to Rat New. Right. So, right. and across as well as far as, um, um, you've got across as well as far as Roundwood. So it, it seems to me, it seems like a very logical, natural thing to do. Has there been any kind of, you know, negative? Because I've looked at a few of the newspaper articles and, and I'm sure there are people who are, as, they, <coughs> as rightly so, they should be always sort of suspicious of change and making sure that nothing has been hidden here that they don't realise. That's understood. Yeah. So have you, have you sort of felt that there are certain fears that keep, 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 keep coming up and you have to address or are people generally accepting of, of, of the logic of this? Well, the fear seems to be that mainly it's around the, you know, the continuance of the offices in Kilcoode and Newtown and Kennedy. Right. From our point of view, um, which, you know, I don't believe that, you know, there is a fear, there should be a fear, because mm. we, since we came on board, um, there's a history here. I think everybody knows there's a history here going back to 2012, 11 and 12, when the board, the existing board at the time, wanted to close the offices in Kilcoode and Newtown and Kennedy. And um, they were, that had to be reversed, and the board resigned. The new board that came in place, which I was part of, we were mandated to be keeping the offices open, which we've done, and we've done successfully, and there's no threat to them. Yeah. And what we want to do is copper fasten that into the future. Right. Because if we don't copper fasten it into the future, Greystone's credit union will become isolated with a large credit union to the north of us, well, two large ones, 
right. the core, which is about 150, 60 million. Right. You know, Bray is 120. They're on our doorstep to the north. Gory on the south are also expanding. They've already moved into um, Avonmore. They've taken over Avonmore. We understand that they have made a, an approach to Arklow. So hmm. what will happen to us in this? Right. You know, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. We'd be sort of in the middle. So where do, where do we go from there? And how much can we sustain a good, proper service and give everything that any other the larger credit union can give? We really hmm. won't be able to afford it, possibly. We can't afford to do a lot of things at the moment unless right. we have the strength and the financial muscle to do so. And how old is the credit union in Greystones? How long has it been here? Is it like, I, I wouldn't be a... In the 1960s. Right, I, right. I'm, you know, five years here. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I but it has a great strong tradition in the town. It's very... Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, it's... Um, it, it, it is a fabulous movement. Yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, it's facing huge change with regulation. Um, at the moment, there's regulation everywhere now. You, you can't do anything without regulation. The central bank is down on everybody. Right. And they're dictating you should do this, 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 and this. Um, and there's not a lot you can do about it. You just have to do it. Um, so they're forcing a lot of credit unions together. Right. So that's right. the way it's going. They've already, at this stage, I think, I don't know the exact numbers off the top of my head, but they have actually reduced the uh, number of credit unions in the country by about a third already. Okay. Through mergers. I mean, if you just take Core alone, they have merged with, uh, I think it's six or seven smaller credit unions already. Right. Just right. Because that's what. Was well, it survival? You know, if you're gonna, if you're well, gonna. From them, it's survival. But yeah. for Core, it's well, you know, you need to grow, yeah. and the small yeah. ones, you need to join. Right. That's right. sort of the. They may not say it. Hmm. And is it optimistic? Visit. Would you be optimistic then in regard to you know the future of credit unions? Because you know obviously this would would seem to strengthen your position and and, and obviously the ones Bray and and and, and Kilcool and Newtown and Kennedy. I'm 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 wondering if you're optimistic or or is a sort of a sense of there's a, it is a tougher time as we're always going to have a little bit of a battle on our hands to to make sure all of this uh, maintains. I I think there there always be a battle because right. um, we are trying to maintain an ethos that you won't find in banks and you won't find in other credit institutions. Um, and to maintain that, you're always going to be, you know, I won't say a little behind the eight ball sort of mm. thing, but, you know, um, the central bank that wants to have everything, you know, one, two, three. Sure, sure. You can't go six. <laughs> right, right. And so, you know, we try to actually keep the focus on the community and that's why it's coming back to it the actual existence of our offices is vital to an actual fact the community because sure. without them this credit union any credit union yeah. can't actually maintain its and I, I think any credit union would do such thing as cutting off offices like that sure maybe I'm cutting your throat well, it's two to tango. I mean, the, the very lifeblood and the very reason the credit union is there is for people's accessibility to be able to, yeah. you know, save and to be able to sort of, you know, get a, get a little bit ahead in life. And, and if it's uh, if it's suddenly 20 miles away, that's going to change their attitude towards it and the sense of how they can be belonging yeah, it, but to that a, mean, a regular that saving. That credit union that does that it will yeah. lose business. Sure. Because they'll go to the nearest place to borrow, if you know. No, we should say Thursday night, as I said, at, at down in St. David's is, 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 is the AGM. It's 74% of the, of the, of the uh, vote, I think, is it needed? 75% is needed. Uh, right. I would encourage everybody to come along, Yeah. Um, because this is a very, very important decision for this credit union. It's going to shape our future one way or another. Right. And for those who, who can't necessarily get to that, is that the only chance to vote or will there be...? Unfortunately, yes. Right, okay. Because uh, we are governed by the Credit Union Act. We have, we have an act all to our own, right. it's a company act. Okay. Um, proxy votes are not permitted. Proxy okay. votes are only allowed to um, so organisations who have accounts here. Right. They can nominate somebody to come and vote for, and their... vote for them. Right. Or they can write and vote, they can use a proxy vote. Okay. So you'd advise people be there for half seven and it, it, the vote should take place pretty soon after? Or is well, it a, no, it'll or... be a bit later, unfortunately, okay. because we, we, we have legal requirements to have to, to, to do the AGM. The AGM right. is a legal requirement for us to complete. 
Okay. So the idea will the agenda has already been sent out. Sure. So it'll be down towards the end of it. Okay. Unfortunately. Right. Um, but we're doing that basically to try and you know get rid of get the earlier part out of it as quick as possible and leave sure. as much time as possible for people to debate and ask questions. Right. About, about the merger. Thing. Okay. Well, that's great. Well, we'll put this up on the guide today and just get people. Um, rally the troops as it were enough to make sure that they do know I'm sure many of them already know this but just to sort of give them uh, the, the, the message that, that it is, is important that they go down and, and, and actually vote because this is a, a, you know a pretty crucial kind of a, a part of the history of the, of the credit union in Greystones yeah well thank you so much Pat I'm glad you didn't cough on me well done <laughs>